Hey everybody, this is John from Legacy Woodworking Machinery, and today we're working on a one-piece MDF flat panel door, and we're gonna work on getting our corners nice and square. So we're gonna show you two ways to do that. The first way is gonna be in this video, the second will be in a subsequent video. This first way is gonna use all V-bits, end mills, and ball end mills, and let's show you how to make it happen. First thing we do is we lay out our part. Now this is 16 wide and 24 tall, and I put a vector around the outside of it. Everything else becomes offsets. So we're gonna start by using our offset tool down here. We're gonna go an inwards offset. And the first thing we're gonna do is define how big our rails and styles are. I'm gonna go 2.5, I'm gonna click on offset. There's gonna be that. Then I'm gonna go inwards again, and I'm gonna go 0 0.06. And we're gonna offset that one. And that's gonna be for my V-bit. And then I'm gonna offset again, three quarters of an inch. And that's gonna be for my panel. Three quarters, not three eighths. And offset that one. These are the three vectors that we need for this. Now, the reason I went in on this one, that 16th of an inch or 0.06, is because when I do my V-bit, I wanna sharpen up those outside edges. So let's show you how it's done. We're gonna select our outer vector here. We're gonna go profile. I'm going to go ahead and set my cut depth to 3 eighths of an inch because that's as thin as I want my panel to be. And you can go 3 eighths or a quarter or whatever you want. It's your door built the way you want to. We're going to click on select and we're going to go up here to our micro V bits. We're going to grab our 15 degree one right here. Now, all of our settings are set here and you'll notice that I set my pass depth to the full 3 eighths of an inch. And the reason I did that is I wanted to set it in one pass and just go to work. So my spindle speed looks good. My feed rates are awesome. Let's go ahead and use this cutter. Now I'm gonna go inside the line right here. That means the edge of my cutter is gonna be touching this. And if you measure your 15 degree angle, then you're gonna actually be running the center of your cutter right there. That's important for later. We're gonna come down here to where it says corners. We're gonna say sharp external and sharp internal. See how that, when I clicked on sharp internal, it raises up in that corner right there. So let's go ahead and click on calculate and let's see what it does. Now you'll notice in the toolpath, it comes up right here in each corner. So we preview our visible toolpath. We have a nice sharp corner right there. That's gonna be pretty dang important for what we're gonna do next. The next toolpath we're gonna build, is gonna be selecting these two lines right here and we are going to do a pocket. So we're gonna grab the inner line there, shift, grab this guy here, and we're gonna go ahead and do a pocket tool path. It's gonna machine out the area, same three eighths of an inch, and I'm gonna run two tools on this one because I wanna make sure I get a nice sharp edge there. We're gonna use the quarter inch, and then just to clean out the end, we're gonna do the eighth inch bit. So let's go ahead and do that. We have a two flute eighth inch cutter right here. We're going to use the down spirals. So let's grab this guy. Okay, and he's going to become tool number two. Everything looks great. And again, I'm not going to be using him for much. I'm going to set my plunge step the entire distance. I am going to slow her down a little bit, however. Okay, and then let's grab this guy here. I'm going to make this one tool number three and set his depth to full depth. Okay. Let's go ahead and calculate. So that's gonna do this for us. Sharpen up that, and flatten this down. Nice, good corners. Everything's looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and build our panel shape in here now. That's gonna be using just this interior vector. And we're gonna go profile again. Same 3 eighths of an inch, that's pretty dang important. This time on the line, and we're gonna grab a ball end mill. And in this particular one, I am going to use a two inch ball nose. So let's go grab a core box bit that is two inches wide. We go there, we're gonna make that one tool four. And let's speed this one up quite a bit. We're gonna to go to about 150 inches a minute here. And we're gonna make our pass depth the full three eighths. Okay. Now to make sure you get a nice ramp down in, we're gonna click on ramp our tool path. And I'm gonna set that up as a spiral. Let's go ahead and calculate that out. And here is our raised panel door. Now that's one style of door with nice easy shape right here, but we can also change that. It's one of the neat new features in Aspire 12 is we can come back here and say undo last, undo's the last toolpath. 
and let's pick a different tool. So we're gonna go profile again. And this time we're gonna select a shaped cutter. We're gonna come down here. Let's go to our classics and we'll go to a classic spiral and let's do a one and a half inch classic spiral. Sounds like a fun idea. And let's use it. Now we're gonna bring this up to tool five. This is also gonna be running at about 150 inches a minute. And let's take the whole thing at once because there's no reason not to. Okay, ramp it and click on calculate. Now, just with one quick change, we have now changed the shape of our panel. So you have the opportunity to build up your doors however you want to, whatever you want them to look like, just by picking and choosing a couple of different shaped cutters, you know, as you go ahead and build your camera. On the back side, you can go ahead and do your hinge, your hinge holes and all that. If you're an existing cabinet shop, you probably have the, a specialized tool for that. If you're starting on your own, then we can flip the part over and machine those out as well. If you have any questions about this video or any other video, please give me a quick comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next, and we hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Talk to you soon.